Welcome back to my YouTube channel and to my workshop. I've already posted one video where I did some experimentation on different glues for the pink foam. This time I want to do some further experiments using the gripper. Using Here are the samples that I did last time. I've torn off the road bed because that's not part of this experiment. Yesterday I painted one of them with the, with the gripper. Today I'm going to paint another one with the gripper but leave it wet and I'm going to leave the third one without it as a control. And then I'm going to see if it makes a difference to how well the plaster cloth and the sculptor mold stick. So let's put the camera back on the tripod and get to work. First thing to do is to slap some, some of this stripper on the second test piece. Doing the back as well. <clears throat> okay, that's enough on there. Now, one thing to notice is that I've carved one side of each test piece rough and left the other one smooth. And here's some sculpture. <clears throat> Enough. And you didn't see me spill oil on the table there, did you? Now I'm going to spend sculptor mold over one end. Now I'm going to cover the other end of the three test pieces with plaster cloth. And of course this water is freezing. Well, the goal of this experiment is to see how it ends up after it's dried. I'm not really too concerned about short-term strength. It's more how it's going to end up after, I, after the scenery is finished. So with that in mind, all I can sensibly do now is to let everything go hard, and I'll come back out tomorrow and test it and see what we end up with. I really don't know what to do. Well, I've given all these test pieces time to dry, so now let's take a look. Okay, I already know exactly how firm this is going to be. 
the sculptor mold sticks reasonably well. It, it, I can pull it off if I, if I need to, but it, it sticks, you know, kind of okay. The plaster cloth is is easily peeled off. Okay, it sticks, but only just. Now with the wet gripper. That is, I'm breaking the sculptor mold rather than peeling it off. That is absolutely not letting go. And with the plaster cloth, okay, that, that bit wasn't deep down. Okay, that is very hard to pull up. And it's leaving bits of plaster behind. So that bond there, is stronger than the plaster cloth. Now if I leave the gripper to go dry, let's see if that makes any difference. Now that peeled off, but that might not have been stuck very well. That broke away. I, I don't think it's as strong as the wet one. But it's, it's definitely better than, than not having anything at all. And for the plaster cloth, that hasn't made a lot of difference. So I think putting it on the wet gripper is the way to go. Don't let it dry first. So, that, so for the results of this experiment, I'm going to conclude that the middle one, where I applied the plaster cloth and the sculptor mold directly over the wet paint, is the way to go. Applying it over the dry paint, I think it improved it a little bit, but not very much. So, although this experiment was not particularly scientific, it was kind of hit and miss, I think I'm going to go with that conclusion. So I hope this was useful. I hope to see you again next week. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.